Some religious leaders during the 31st December watch night services prophesied about the new year. Many of these prophecies hinged on high-profile personalities dying or being in danger of harm. Such prophecies caused fear and panic, resulting in the verbal and, at times, physical attacks on perpetrators. The police, in a caution statement, entreated the general public, especially faith-based groups, to ensure continuous compliance with the laws relating to communication of prophecies. Part of the caution read, let us continue to remember that whereas we have the right to practice our faith in religion, freedom of worship and speech, this right must not be exercised in violation of the rights of others and the public interest. A member of the Peace Council and head pastor of the Family Chapel, Bishop Dr. Victor Say, in his reaction to the police statement, described their action as bullying. He said, any move to gag a genuine message from God only tramples on the freedom of religion. There is a law in this country, but we allow people to go free when they say anything, simply because they are speaking to help our political agenda and not someone's political agenda. Now, if that is what is going to happen, I mean, how can you curtail somebody's prophetic word? Last year, somebody said Imofia. Are you going to take him to court for saying that this and this is going to happen to Imofia? I think that is bullying. And everybody has freedom of speech in Ghana. Once I am not attacking your sensibilities, I am not speaking evil about this country or about a personality, which people do every day on the media, on the radio, on the internet. They do it all the time and nobody does anything about it. But why are people so afraid of the church speaking out?